he decided he wanted to move to wherever he moved to. He was doing comedy there. He met this guy who said, I can take your comedy to the next level. He ended up having him do drugs. They started out doing, um, I want to say Molly or something like that, something very subtle. Um, then they went from Molly to acid. Then they went from acid to do an M bomb. Then they went from M bomb to cocaine. They went from cocaine to crack. They started smoking crack. And then every time that they would get high, he would end up passing out, blacking out. And he, um, the dude would like rape him. And he would keep promising him, you know, well, keep writing this script. You're doing great. Um, you know, just make a few edits here. You're going to be great. You're going to be a star leading him on, leading him on, leading him on. Dude literally woke up, went to the bathroom to go and take a shower. His asshole had been spread open and he was bleeding out of his ass. He was also Stockholm Syndrome in a way because... He could not stop going back. He was a, like tied to him through the trauma, so he would keep going back, and he would like start to feel sorry for himself. Like, damn, why do I keep going back? And he keep you know fucking me over. Clearly, nothing is working. He hasn't got my career no further. All he does is rape me, make me take drugs, and do whatever he tells me to do. Yeah, eventually it got so fucked up. Where he was just like, fuck it. I get, he gave up on the dreams. Ended up going back home, and he met this lady. He met this lady. Her name was Martha. Martha is a certified serial stalker she um but he didn't know that so she was literally a fucking psycho he she came in one day she was all fucked up sitting down looking sad and she didn't know what to do with herself and um she was like no i don't have any money he was like it's on the house why the fuck you give her that free cup of tea and yeah she started like she was sending like him a lot of emails she was outside of the nigga house every bus stop she came into his job every single day literally every single day um and the one lady had kind of fucked him up so he really didn't want to separate from the lady that was stalking him because she was giving him the little flattering gratification that he needed because nobody else really gave it to him so the guy the you know the bad guy was putting him down making him feel like shit at first he made him you know feel good but the rape stuff was kind of bad and the female even though, you know, she was kind of, like, annoying, she was always complimenting him, always there, always asking about how his day is going, stuff like that. And so he ended up having a fetish with her, jacking off to her picture. It's a mess. It's a fucking mess.